we are going to discuss the question number 31 from NADGIF December 2018 and booklet code is A. Question is U1, U2, UN be a set of orthonormal bases of CN and M is the matrix whose columns are U1, U2, UK and N is another matrix whose columns are UK plus 1 up to UN. And P is a diagonal matrix whose diagonal length is alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha n, where alpha is our real number. Then we have to identify rank of this matrix, trace of this matrix, and rank of this matrix, or the rank of this matrix. So basically, in this question, there is u1, u2, un are orthonormal bases, that is ui, uj is 0 i not equal to j and 1 i equal to j and also we know that the every orthonormal base says is a ally set or every orthonormal subset of any vector space is linearly independent so based on this information let's start with the question so first i will start with the option D. If you will solve m into m star, since columns of m are ortho normal ve vectors, so definitely m into m star is identity matrix and it is of n cross m matrix. Since this matrix is n cross k and this is k cross n. Similarly, n n star, this is also identity matrix of order n. Again, this n matrix is n minus k cross n order, and this is sorry n cross n minus k and n minus k cross n order. So definitely m into m star and n into n star are identity matrices. So sum of these two matrices, which is this one, is 2 into i and rank of that matrix should be n. So fourth option definitely false. Again third option <coughs> so we already know the rank of m star into n is less than or equal to rank of sorry minimum of rank of m star and rank of less than or equal to since all the columns of m are li and all the columns or of n are also li since this is a basis so definitely the rank of m star is k and rank of n is n minus k so this is minimum of k and n minus k so rank of this matrix is less than or equal to this quantity but in this third option, this they are asking that this should be equal. So definitely this is also incorrect option. Now come to first or second option. So basically first or second option is based on the similarity of matrices. <coughs> so let redefine another matrix M1, which is U1, U2, UK and EK plus 1 and E. So, where EI are unit vector whose ith column is ith position is 1 and remaining all are 0. That is standard basis of vectors of standard basis of CM. Again, define some matrix P1, which is a diagonal matrix alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha k and 0, 0, 0. You can easily identify that M1 into m1 star is identity is same as m1 star into m1 <coughs> definitely this is now <coughs> using this information m1 star is m1 inverse so this implies sorry and m1 star p1 m1 is same as M P M star. And this 
m1 star is simply m1 inverse p1 m1 which is m1 sorry m p m star and by similarity of matrices this matrix is similar to matrix p1 this matrix is similar to matrix p1 so this that is this matrix is also similar to matrix p1 so this implies rank of m p m star is the same as rank of p1 and you can easily check that rank of p1 is same as rank of p and similarly since this matrix this matrix is same as this one or this matrix is same as similar to this matrix so trace of this matrix is same as trace of p1 and trace of p1 is same as trace of this matrix p so again trace of m p m star is same as trace of p which is same as summation i varying from 1 to k alpha so in first option the rank of m p m star is k whenever alpha i not equal to alpha j so this value is a rank of p and p matrix is a diagonal whose diagonal entries are alpha 1 alpha 2 so rank of a diagonal matrix is number of non zero entry at diagonal position so this quantity may be less than k 